Hey guys, how you doing? Um, we have a Maritron AL811H amplifier. Um, this was built to W8JI um, specifications. Um, if you're not aware who he is, he does most of the design and stuff for amplifiers for Maritron and he's been an engineer for a long time. He has a site where he sells the upgrade parts and kits from. Um, if you're going to go on and look, go ahead and you can see I did every upgrade that he says this needs to be the best amp that it could be. They were put in it. Um, so first off, we uh, did the grid grounding and we did that direct to chassis. So we actually drilled holes into the chassis and grounded direct because if you'll notice on the um, sockets for the tubes, there's a little... It's kind of like a plastic rubber washer on there and they loosen up over time so if you do ground to that you're not going to have a really good ground after a while because these things do vibrate and uh any nuts bolts anything that i tightened or loosened or went over in here i put some uh, lock on it so uh you'll see it in the pictures um it's red um all the nuts and screws so they don't vibrate loose or come loose um also on it i put the uh power resistor on the bottom um and that's going to help if you're using i'm going to show you we're going to throw 100 watts into this and it's going to handle it easy that that's what this is uh really helps if you're running like a 7300 or something like that into it uh um icom or something new um it's a very good uh update for it <clears throat> um you're also going to have we put the bias upgrade in there um, that's off the center tap of the transformer, um, uses a diode and a resistor to ground, and that helps with your biasing circuit, because we did remove the bias circuit on it, um, that's, uh, upper side, you'll see the two diodes, or uh, the, uh, four resistors on the, uh, two terminal strips, that was taken out, um, we also did the fan upgrade, he makes a fan upgrade kit, I bought it off him, uh, I installed it in this, I love it, I'm gonna put it in all of them now, um, it's a much, much, you can feel over here, it's much, much stronger uh, airflow through it. And he's right when he said that these uh, amplifiers didn't have an adequate fan on it. They didn't. Those tubes would heat up. Those, are, those tubes will get hot on you. This fan really helps. Um, it also has a high-low switch in case you don't want to run it. It's in the back. Um, it fit in an existing hole that was back there, so there's no extra holes drilled. <clears throat> and it's a little uh runs off of your meter uh uh supply so um what else do we do to this god uh so all of the um band switches inside there's one up front here and one in the back they were both cleaned inspected and tested so they are 100 percent all the movs were removed off of the pc pcb board in the back and there's a small little cap I removed, and uh, he recommended removing that, and it helps with chatter for your relays. It gets rid of that. Uh, it's not a needed cap. I don't know why they put it in there, but it was in there. So we took that out. Um, some of the upgrades we did um, on the power supply board, um, we did upgraded caps. They got 5,000 hour caps in them now. Um, Upgraded the resistors for the bleeders and equalizers, and a meter resistor uh, was put to a 1%, and the um, meter diode was uh, upgraded to a 6-amp uh, diode in there. And uh, you'll see that. I have all the pictures in there, and it has a new parasitic board we put in. Um, trying to think what else. All the cold solder joints that are known for being on this on the coil inside, on the top. When you open this and look in top, you see a coil. Um, it's for your band selector. They get loose over time. They crack because of the vibrations and moving them. So we went through, we inspected them, and any that looked iffy were resoldered. Um, they all really looked good. I did hit one or two that just didn't uh, have the right color to them. So, so if you're using, I don't know what kind of solder they use in this, but if you use that, uh, um. If you use the solder with no, uh, I don't know how to say it, no silver in it, I guess, uh, you get kind of a 
flat looking cold solder joint look to it even though they're not cold on some of them so uh sometimes you just got to go through and check all right um like i said the bias resistors are removed i'm trying to just remember what i went through on this and i think that's about it um this thing's better than new i mean this this thing's it's put together right now this is how these amps should be sold to you um when they come out of the, I don't know why they do these shortcuts with them. They, they put these MOVs. I hate them. I don't like them in any amplifiers. MOVs are nothing but problems. When they go to short, they're just taking your tubes out or your transformer. It's just, they're not good. Um, so we pulled them out. Uh, there's three different boards that came with this that I know of. There might be more, but, uh, and there is slight variances in some of the boards this board was a 07 I, I believe it's the revision 3 the newer type board i could be wrong on that though i haven't really looked into that but uh it has a nice it's a nice unit the way they built this now um the original ones they need a lot more updating than the uh, newer ones do as time went on they did progress a bit with uh how they change things and tune things and parts they used so uh what we'll do is we're on 160 i already tuned it for that i have a switch over here because i have a cb radio over there too the aux is on the uh 27 band but we're gonna just run through this uh you gonna see up top there a watt meter and uh loss i have this on swr so you can see the swrs on the radio or none and then uh swrs for the antenna system are up there so I'm just going to key up the amp. I'll go to uh, we'll go to plate and audio one two one two one two one two test 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 one two one two test test. See we get good audio. That's on lower side band. <clears throat> um, so now we'll go to uh, eighty. Let's change the band uh, and we'll leave it on three point five. And um, I think I wrote some numbers down somewhere over here. It was like. Two and a half and four or something like that. And uh yeah, let's just um audio one two one two one two one two test test audio one two one two right that's without even that's just with writing numbers down and not even tuning. I didn't do anything, right? Um so now we're gonna go to forty and uh can't remember what forty is five and seven and three quarters something like that all right so now we'll go band we'll go to uh seven we'll leave it there and audio one two one two one two one two test 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 one two one two it's a screamer on 40 boy one two one two all right now we'll go down to what's next uh we'll go to 20 I don't think anyone uses 30. It works. I'm not going <clears> to. <throat> um, where am I at here? 14. Uh, we want to be at, I think it was uh, three and a half. I have here and nine. We're around nine. Again, just going to, uh, we're in upper side band now. We'll leave it there. Don't matter. Audio. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Test, test, test. Audio, audio. There you go. Now we'll go to uh, uh, 17. We could go to 17. What's that? 18, right? Um, that's going to be 3. And I went through all these before. That's how I kind of know. And I'll include the paper with it, with what I'm doing. And you can see on here, my uh, RF power, I'm putting 100 in. Remember I told you this will take 100 now because of that power resistor that's... Uh, tied in underneath by the grids there so uh all right uh, what are we on we're on 18 everything's our 17 audio one two one two one two one two so we could probably tune that up get some more out of it but i'm not going to go crazy i'm just showing you it working and it it's working fantastic so now we can uh we can stay here and we could go to 15 and we'll go four and this brought this up to like nine and a half but we do have to remember to change this to 21. And audio, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Again, upper sideband. So uh, you see that working. Uh, now we'll go to aux. I'm going to do the switch over here to go over to this other radio. 
All right, we're going to go. Um, this doesn't have, um, I'm going to actually turn this off now. I don't have the uh, mod done for this. To, um, just didn't have a time. I just got this radio. It's going to be my new bench radio. It's actually the first time I'm using it. So I have to do the mod on it so that I can use it. But I'm just going to key the radio up. It's in AM. Um, I think. Um, all right, so we're at about 24 watts, actually. It's um the mic on. Let me try putting the mic down and key in. All right, so around 25 watts. Uh, we're in aux, and we're going to go... Um, I forgot what I had it on here now for this. Um, if I remember, this was down. That was something around there, but we'll see. We'll tune her in. Oh, watch that grid current. All right, we don't want that too high. Can we add a little here? Uh, there we go, there we go. Bring that back down. And we'll see what we get on there. Audio, one, two, one, two. should get around 500 i'll have to uh play with it but i did tune it i didn't write the numbers down i forgot let me uh play with it for a second here uh, let me go to power i just want to see audio one two one two there we go 555 and our grid's still good. Um, let's go over and just check it, please. Audio, one, two, one, two. Test, test, test. That's perfect right there. One, two, one, two. So you put about 550 on AM. And uh, if you run this proper, it'll, it'll run for you forever. So three and nine, I'll write that down. Uh, three and nine, and that's on uh, 11 meg. So there you go, guys. Um, this is a nice unit. Um, I know this is probably going to be a long video. Let me turn it off, and we'll give it some time to bleed down. What I want to do is I'm going to open it up. You can take a look at it. So the front of it, I mean, is in really nice shape. It has this little blemish up in here. I'll try to point it to you there. You can see right here. I don't know how the heck that happened, and it has down here a little bit. It does all of these do it for some reason. They get like that little starts flaking a little. I guess you could put some glue in there. I didn't do it. I'm not going to bother. Uh, if you want to, you can. Let me just take this off real quick. I, I only have two screws in the top, and I got to be careful because remember, guys, if you're going to screw around with these radios, high voltage, man, they got high voltage in them. Don't uh, don't take anything for granted. If you don't know what you're doing, don't do it. All right. If you guys want these kits put in, you want your amp amp tuned up, you want me to go over it, send it to me, and I'll do it for you. Um, I ain't putting any other kits in it except for uh, W8JI. He's the only guy I trust making kits for these. Um, Harbach, I don't know if they make kits for these, but a lot of their stuff is just gimmick stuff. I don't want to say gimmick, but um, I, I like some of their um, SB220 kits are good. As far as this radio goes... Um, WHAI is your guy. He's the one you want to get your stuff from for this radio, okay? He even sells tubes for these that he tests. He, he uh, bakes in. They're the tubes that we have in there, too. I forgot to mention. I got these from him oh, God, about a year ago. I had them sitting here, and I decided to use them in this. I, I did use them in other radio, um, an amp that I had that I maybe put a five hours on, if even. I think that would be considering a lot. But, um, so what you could see in here, get all your resistors are upgraded here. Um, your caps are upgraded. They're not the screw in caps, regular caps. Um, this is your, uh, meter, um, diode that was upgraded. All right. All these joints in here, these are the ones that tend to, uh, come loose after time. Okay. From vibration. Um, we put the new parasitic board in. We checked your choke is good in there and it's not coming off. Everything is um, sealed with lacquers proper. 
Um, I don't know if you could see down in there, but that's your new fan in there. And right in here is your biasing. We put it in here. I, I liked it here because of the fan, it keeps it cool. Uh, he mentions there's some other spots in there that you could put it on this board in here, but it's kind of a pain. And I, I, I just, I don't know. I like it there because I, I want the fan to hit it. Um, and then down here, you'll see we took the uh, biasing resistors out that were here. Um, one other thing I did, and I don't see anyone else doing this, but it's a must-do for me. Anyone that worked on these will notice right here. Right, coming off your coil here, coming down to your choke and your uh, load. I run a jumper, a solid jumper on both sides. So I got a jumper going to the uh, load and I got a jumper coming over and going to your choke here. All right, because these are crapola. All right, these are just like the screw. I've found you can never tighten it to the point where you get a good, good mechanical connection that's going to stay on this. All right, so I get rid of this, all right? I take that out of the equation and we go right to them with a jaw, just make a nice solid jumper there. Doesn't change anything. It doesn't affect your tuning. It works just fine, all right? And then uh, you're not gonna be able to see underneath, but underneath is where all the uh, grounds are, uh, the grids are grounded and uh, that's it guys. And then um, in the back, here's your switch, all right? It's high and low switch right here. And that controls this uh, new fan speed that you could put in there. So uh, check the fuses, make sure you got the right fuses. That's the first thing you always do when you get any radio in is you pull the fuses out and check them, guys. I don't know how many times I tell people that. I, I get people, they bring me radios, they go, oh, it was working, a transformer blew, something blew. And you get it and you look and it had a fuse that's like double the size in it because they were having problems and they didn't know how to fix it properly and they blew the fuse up. Um, again, let me uh, show you the cover. So the outside, I was saying that most of the radio is in really good shape. The cover does have some scratches on it. Um, you can get a new cover if you want. It's up to you. Be careful here. Should have voltage off it now, but all right. So, trying to show you guys exactly what everything looks like. But you can see there's some little nicks in there. And just, I guess people put stuff on top of this. Whenever I put stuff on top of anything, there's a towel going down. I don't like, I mean, you'll notice I put all my stuff's got to be separated. Um, that is the only thing I don't have a towel on top of. And it's because it was already scratched up and it just fits in there. This actually probably holding my shelf up a little. That's how strong them cases are. But yeah, I don't like stuff on top of stuff where I try to put a towel. Um, all right, enough rambling for me, guys. I'll put this amp. It's going to go up for sale. Um, again, I would pick this or anyone that did this to an amplifier over a brand new one any day. And only because these mods were done. The mod kits aren't cheap. You know, um, you're going to get into the mods. You're going to start spending some money, especially when you get into tubes and stuff like that. So uh, keep that in mind, too. So, guys, this, this amp will last you a long, long time if you just use it right. I'm going to leave you a note of what bands um, I had to load and plate set to for the tuning at 100 watts. Um, and that's 25 watts. Do not go over 25 watts in AM. Uh, 25 watts is even pushing. I told, you know, 20 watts is more than enough. Um, I just did that to show you that it'll go up. So, guys, listen, um, 73s, God bless, uh, stay safe, and as always, bye-bye-bye.